Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be on to makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. For today, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses, mainly pinks and nudes, because these are truly the ones that I wear all the time. And I know that nudes and pink are very popular lip colors, especially nudes, of course. Um, but if you love pink lipsticks, because I really think that the majority are pink lipsticks that I have here, then this is a video for you. If you absolutely hate pinks and nudes, then you're definitely not gonna like this video because that, that is a favorite type of lip color that I wear and I buy it over and over again. So I'm gonna share with you guys, just pretty much these are my go-to lip colors. I remember at the beginning of the year when I did my, pretty much like my holy grail products, my favorites, I'll list that video in the description box down below. I showed you guys, I think maybe like one lipstick that I like, that's my favorite, but I did mention in that video that I wanted to do a video just fully dedicated to lip products that I love and that are pretty much the ones that I use over and over again. They're the ones that I have bought more than one of and they're the ones that I will continue to purchase just because I love them so much and they're the ones that I love that are all, like there's just a me color, you know? Um, and that I still keep on buying when I find something that looks like that. So I'm gonna try them on for you guys. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand and I just hope that you guys enjoy it and that you get some really pretty pink nude lipstick um, suggestions out of this video. So we better get started. So I'm not really gonna go in any particular order. I'm also gonna show you, I think three other favorites that aren't really pink or nude, but they're just some of my favorite lip products that I use. One of them I use as a topper and then the other one I kind of use, you know, as a base before I apply any lip products. So I'll start with those. My two favorite lip balms that I love to use under all of these lipsticks, just something that I always do. I have them in my night table, I have them at work, in my purse, just everywhere. The first one is the Fresh. This is the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. I think this right now is my number one favorite. And then my second favorite that I'm loving, which used to be my number one, is the Dior, the Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm. This one is a brand new one, so I'm not really gonna open it, but it looks like this. It's like the white container. And I have gone through so many of these. Um, it's a pink, it looks pink, but it goes on very, very clear. So those are the two things, the two items that I use the most that are my favorite that I continue to repurchase over and over again. And I always use that either on their own or I always use them a little bit before I apply any of the lip products. The other item that I always use as a lip topper, which I love, is also from Dior. And this one is the Lip Maximizer. And this one is in the shade 001. So this is really clear, it's very shiny, it tingles just a little bit. Um, it tingles, it's very, you know, it's bearable. It's not like a, a tingling that is, you know, that is painful, I hate those. But um, this is also a really good product. Um, again, you, you can use it on your own, on its own, or a lot of the times I use it as a, like kind of like a clear gloss over it. any of these lipsticks. It's very, very glossy. I guess I'm gonna start doing it kind of by brand. Um, and of course, these are not, I have a ton of lip products that I love. You know, they're reds, they're purple colors, you know, they're kind of like burgundy colors that I always love. And I always love colors that are plummy too. But those are the ones that I just use on special occasions or like when I'm just in the mood to put on like a vibrant color or just something a little bit different. But the norm for me are pinks and nudes. And I love pinky nudes, of course. So first I'm gonna start off with two of my favorite glosses, and they're from the brand Marc Jacobs. These are the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Glosses. These are extremely shiny. This one is, the pink is in the shade Flamingo, and the nude one is in the shade Moonglow. Out of these two, definitely the Flamingo one is my favorite color. It is a very beautiful pink, and it is just a pink, basically that um, you can wear it on your own and it's very, very glossy um, and it still shows, but usually the way I like to wear it the most is over a pink lipstick. And the Moon Glow color is definitely one, here you see the swatch on my hand, it's definitely one that I always use over a lip color just because that's the one I have right now and on its own, it is very shiny it looks a little bit white, you know, like it's just like a little too light. 
but over a nude lipstick it is just so beautiful if you really like that really light nude but you can see on its own just how shiny it is just both these colors are really gorgeous but i would say that my go-to number one favorite lip gloss of all times right now is definitely the Marc Jacobs in the Flamingo. This next color I absolutely love. It is from the brand Makeup Forever and it is called the Artist Rouge Cream and this is in the C105 shade and it is just the perfect pink nude shade. Here you see it right now and I already have it on my lips and I just think it is a beautiful pinky nude it just is perfect on its own and it's also beautiful with any type of gloss on top, whether it's a nude gloss or a pink gloss, beige. I just think it looks really pretty with anything. From the brand Bare Minerals, there is this one, another pinky nude shade. This is the shade Tutu, which is this one right here. This lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and put the full name down below because I don't really remember what the name of the lipstick actually is. I know the shade is Tutu, but it's just very soft and creamy and it just glides on. It is a really beautiful lipstick. And then I also love two glosses from Bare Minerals. These are the more glossy ones. I have the shade Sugar and I also have the shade Forbidden. And these are the ones that are the more, they also have some matte ones, but these are the ones that are the more shiny ones. And again, these are glosses that you can definitely wear on their own or um, as toppers. They're just both very, very beautiful shades. This one right here is the Forbidden. Here, I don't even know what I'm doing. This one right here is the Forbidden shade. The other one is called the Sugar, which is this one in the middle. And then this is the Lipstick Tutu that I have swatched. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, love the lip gloss. I love this line of lip glosses, but my favorite shade is definitely the Undress. If you like a perfect nude, this is the perfect nude gloss. I tend to wear this one always on its own. I don't like to use it as a topper just because it has so much pigmentation that I feel like it would color, it would cover any lipstick that you wear on top of it. But really, really love this line and love this color. My favorite liquid lipsticks are definitely Kat Von D. The shades are beautiful and the lipstick just feels so nice and so comfortable. My favorite color though is definitely the Love Set color. I think this is like the most beautiful pink color. It's kind of like a pinky plum type of color. I already put it on my lips as well and I just really, really love it. I just realized I hadn't done some swatches. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Undress Swatch. And this is the Kat Von D Love Sick Liquid Lipstick Swatch. So, oh, they're just so beautiful, both of them. From the drugstore, I love this Milani Lipstick in Blissful. This is from their matte line, and it is my favorite color, just from the whole Milani brand. And I love the matte ones a lot more than the other ones, just because they don't have that weird, you know, it's like a very strong smell that the... Um, regular lipsticks have. I like the matte ones much better. Another one from the drugstore. This is from Kardashian Beauty and this is the Enjoy Stick in Baby Doll. The Maybelline Matte Ink in the shade Dreamer. These little lipsticks I absolutely love. I love the whole line. I also love the nude one in Loyalist but it didn't make it into this favorites just because it's not one that I grab all the time but Dreamer is just my favorite. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones top 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 from the drugstore this one and another lipstick that i'm going to show you next are probably my top two favorite products right now at the time from the drugstore my favorite lipstick from the drugstore is this revlon lipstick in the shade primrose 668 this is definitely my favorite lipstick so here are the swatches this one right here is the revlon lipstick in primrose and then i'm not sure if i already showed you this but here is the maybelline matte ink swatch in dreamer so there you see both of the swatches and I think that these are definitely my top two faves at the drugstore right now. Of course the brand MAC is huge when it comes to lipsticks and I have five of those to share with you guys that are my favorites. They go from pink, pinky nude, to full on nude. So this one that I have on my lips right now is Snob and it is this swatch right here and this is just a beautiful pink. It has been around for a really, really long time. The next one I have 
is this second one right here, and this one is Cream Cup. It's a little bit less of a brighter pink, um, but it's still more of a pinky type of nude, not so much a beige skin toned nude. Next one from MAC I have is the shade Blankety. I feel like this is a little bit less pink than the first two I showed you, but it's still kind of, you know, it's a nudie pink, already kind of going into the beige. I feel like this is the more neutral one of the ones that I have been showing you and will continue to show you. And the last two matte colors are more nude skin toned colors, like more true, true nudes. The very first one is the creme de nude. Um, and the second one is a Japanese maple. They're actually very, very similar colors. As you can see in the swatches, you know, they're extremely pale. Um, they're extremely pale nudes, but not so pale that they make you look dead. Like they don't look white. Both of these look gorgeous with the um, Marc Jacobs, the sugar one. Um, it just makes them so nice and glossy. Or you can just even wear it with like the clear Dior gloss that I showed you guys at the beginning. So this one right here is Japanese Maple and this one is the Creme de Nude. From the brand Dose of Color, this is the shade Parfait. I bought these at Ulta. I'm not really sure. I'll put down in the description box the full name of the actual lipstick, but this is the swatch. This is probably the one that I'm wearing the most right now. It is just a beautiful pink, but it has a lot of purple in it, and that is like the type of pink that I love the most. So this is Dose of Colors is Parfait. The next one is from the brand Smashbox, and this is the Be Legendary lipstick. This is another one of my all-time favorite pinks. The only thing is that this one is like the second one I already go through. It just breaks so easily. I don't know why this one and the next lipstick I'm going to show you, they're just, I guess because they're so soft, they glide on so nicely that they just break so easily. So this is Pretty Social from Smashbox. This next one is from Bare Minerals and it is one of the Moxie lipsticks. This is again a pink that has a lot of purple tones in it. Love it. One of my favorites, but this is broken. It's like, it's not even, this is like probably the second or third I buy and they just always break. Not even when they're like almost finished, they break like right at the beginning. So that's really annoying. I'll probably have to melt these and put them in a little container and just use a lip brush because I really do love those colors. From Charlotte Tilbury, this is Live It Up Lipstick. This is my favorite pink from all her lipsticks. I also like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury ones though are, they're not matte or like more dry lipsticks. Like the Dose of Colors is more of a drier type of lipstick. It goes on beautifully. It's not shiny at all. It's not super, super matte, but it is more towards the matte side than it is toward like the more shiny, satiny type of finish. Um, and then lipsticks like the Smashbox, the Bare Minerals, you know, even the Revlon, they just glide on so much more softly. And um, they're like just very soft and they glide on very easily. Whereas I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, they don't. They kind of like seem thick, like you really have to glide. It doesn't glide as easily to the other side. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but I've always found that very strange um, because it's not like the most comfiest lipstick to apply. No, it's not like a rough matte type of lipstick, but it's not, you know, the finish seems like it should be a little bit more like softer and more, you know, that it glides on easier but it just doesn't. So I'm just gonna stop because now I'm just rambling. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but um, yeah, so it's pretty much just like that. It just seems like, you know, it kind of tugs a little bit more. Um, but Live It Up is definitely my favorite shade. This is a swatch of the Charlotte Tilbury. I can't remember if I shared it. I'm sorry if I forgot some swatches. And the very last lipstick I have to share with you guys today is from Bite Beauty. And this is in the shade Sugar Cane which is this one right here. I just love this pink color. I love these Bite lipsticks. These glide on so nice and creamy and it just seems so rich, which the Charlotte Tilbury is like not that way. Um, this just goes on so nice and creamy and I love it. I like the finish. Um, actually, my favorite color from the Bite Beauty was the Retsina, 
but that one got discontinued. I don't know why, because it was an amazing neutral nude shade. And this is more like a pinky type of nude. Really like this one. Another one that I like, which is not really like a super favorite, is the honeycomb one. This one is a little bit more nude. Let me just show you the swatch, like a darker, you know, more beigey nude. This is honeycomb. And then this one is the, the sugar cane one. Um, but yeah, this one is a favorite. It's the one I'm wearing right now. I love it. Right now, I think that's my favorite Bite Beauty lipstick that is actually available for purchase because um, Ritzina was definitely an amazing nude color. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will make sure to list all the lipsticks in the description box down below with the full name of the lip color and the actual name of the lipstick because sometimes, you know, as I was reading them, the full name isn't really on the packaging, like maybe this dose of color one. Um, and if it is on the packaging, it's extremely tiny. So I'll take my time and write those all down below for you guys in case you guys want to check them out. Let me know which one is your favorite pink nude lipstick in the comments down below. If you had a lot of fun watching this video, I really hope that you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching B-Lounge Makeup, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye!